Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're doing really well. Today we've got a medium sized haul I would say. Things that I've collected over the last couple of months and a couple of items that I've actually had for a little while but I've never been able to style. So I wanted to show you in this haul because it's likely that they're going to be getting styled into the kitchen because we are finally making really good progress with the kitchen makeover. It is absolutely boiling today, it's 30 degrees. I've got an event to go to in London so I'm quickly getting this haul out for you. I'm going to try not to make myself overheat before I even get to the event. You may or may not know that the kitchen style that I'm kind of leaning towards is warm tones, lots of wood, lots of old antique looking crockery, thinking English cottage, country vibes. But in a way that really suits me. So let's just get straight into it well if you haven't already please subscribe if you're new here hello hi we do this kind of stuff on the channel all the time it's everything home decor diys and room makeovers hauls and shopping so if you're interested make sure to subscribe and yeah let's jump straight in okay i'm just going to do them in a random order so it might not be in categories but i went over to home sense the other day and i ended up picking up some new dish towels these are so soft, I can't even explain to you. They were $4.99, you get two of them in, but they are this gorgeous waffle texture, the kind that actually dries your tea towels. And they've got this really muted gray black stripe detail on them. They're from a company called Cynthia Rowley, New York. But I just saw them and I thought, oh, they would be such a nice, subtle addition to the kitchen, nothing garish. Um, I can have them on display and they will just fit right in. Also from TK Maxx, I also picked up, sorry, I don't know if I said Home Sense or TK Maxx, but I actually have a TK Maxx near me, not Home Sense, <laughs> crying. Um, so these were from TK Maxx, but they pretty much do the same sort of stuff. This new mitten, Sage Green, pretty much my middle name by now. Checkered style, gorgeous, so soft functional practical and this was i actually don't know how much this was but i wouldn't have paid more than 4.99 it was probably 4.99 or 3.99 kind of matches the new blinds that we've put in in the kitchen as well from tk maxx i bought these a long time ago first one is this little mini stool i just love this when i caught eyes caught eyes i just love this when it caught my eye years ago i think i've probably had it for two years now and i've never been able to style it properly because i think it's like a little plant stand but it's just always been too small to put anywhere. But now in our new kitchen, I'm thinking it might be nice to have it to add a little bit of height in an area, like in a corner or something, if I'm needing to style some things. Might be able to prop something on top of this and kind of have it elevated, which will be nice. That was 9 dollars by the way. And this one is also 9 dollars from a couple years ago. So it might be a little bit more expensive if you catch them now. And this is a flat version. So a much more shallow depth, short little stubby legs, so cute, and a wider base. So it might even pair well nice together next to each other to add a little bit of, you know, difference in height. And I was thinking if I don't love the finish of these, which I do for now, but if they don't seem to suit the area I want to put them in, I could potentially stain them. I've got a really nice walnut colour varnish that I've used on some shelves in the kitchen makeover. So we could potentially give these a little glow up as well if we have to. Woo, I am sweating. So I picked up this Dunelm Darkwood Mill Rest. This was £3.50. We have got some salt and pepper shakers that we have had for years and I do have my eye on some of the gold brass ones. Oh my God, they're beautiful, but they're like a hundred pounds for a set and I can't seem to thrift any or find a dupe anywhere. So if any companies wanna create a dupe that is more affordable for us people, please do so. But for now, we've got the wooden ones and I have always liked them, but the thing that really grinds on me <laughs> is that when you um, use them and then put them down, they just disperse salt and pepper grains all over the cupboard where they live. Really annoying. So when I saw this and saw it was the same sort of wood tone, perfect. So now when I put them down in here, this will catch all of the wood, rem um, the salt and pepper remnants and I can just wipe it out, give it a little clean and it will keep everything nice and clean, especially because I want to put them on the shelves for styling purposes. So love this. £3.50. I think that's so good. I ended up picking up a new chopping board. This one is from their Churchgate collection. Now if you don't know, Dunelm do have a Churchgate collection which is kind of all things old country home, that sort of vibe. So if you go on their website and have a look at their it's probably like one of their categories that you can click on in the menu. You'll probably be surprised to find like a lot of the same sort of trend and design of things. But yeah, I saw this one and 
I don't have a chopping board this particular shape which is a bonus but also it's a really nice um, kind of like lime washed colour which again I don't have. It's got a really gorgeous embellishment on it as well kind of like a, a is it called like a hot poke branding hot spoke something like that this was 10 pounds and it's 40 by 20 centimeters just love it i think it's going to look really cute on some shelves and give us a bit of dimension because at the minute i have a lot of wood tones and i don't want them all to clash too much so this might help break some stuff up oh look at this i love this so much this is a cookbook stand and it looks gorgeous i tried it out on the worktop the other day just to see if some of the things that i bought were pulling well together Oh, I love it so much. I cannot wait for like a cozy Sunday where I just want to like try a new recipe and I have my cookbook open on my cookbook stand. Love the tone of this. It has got a little stand at the back. One thing I would say is make sure that this is open properly because one time I put it, put it down, turned my back and it fell over and the fright I got genuinely jumped out of my skin. So just make sure it's open. It could probably do with being a little bit more open. Um, this is 40 centimeters by 25. I think it says it's made of acacia wood and it was 12 pounds. Love this. And also it's got a little hole here. So if I did want to like hook it up to get it out of the way when it's not being used, then I could do that. But I can also just have like my Sunday dinners cookbook on display all, all the time. And then the last thing from Dunelm I got are these tiny little brass hooks. These were two pound 50. And the idea is that I'm just going to put one of them in the wall kind of next to the sink area so that I can just hook one of the tea towels up and just have that on display again add a little bit of texture a little bit of something else in the room I don't want it to be as empty as it's been I feel like our kitchen has just been like super minimalistic super clean tidy all the time but I'm ready to just like go maximalist on it maybe not maximalist that's not the right term because I'm still a very like I like tidiness and I don't like clutter don't like clutter I want it to be like an organized clutter like yeah but I'm ready to just add stuff I'm ready to grow I'm changing I am I'm definitely changing my vibe uh the next thing because we're, we're kind of on chopping boards at the minute this is not from Danelle this is actually from a local store to me called the Peterborough DIY store or something like that it's the most random little shop ever it has so much stuff in there if you're ever in Peterborough I think it's like near Lincoln Road or something or it's on Lincoln Road um they have so much stuff and this chopping board caught my eye it's like it's solid I think I paid seven pounds for this it is weighty it's like a proper butcher's block um 14 by 10 inches really nice size really nice tone just again something to break up all the different areas and I just feel like you can't have enough chopping boards especially on display and we do have quite a lot of countertop space we're very blessed with that so I do need some stuff to kind of like display certain areas so I couldn't say no to this one from the range I love a little a little string bag oh gorgeous I think these might have been like a pound each these are going to be our new fruit bags that hold our fruit so that we can see them and make sure we eat them um, and they're going to hang down from the kitchen rails that I've just put up underneath the shelves I actually already had these um styled up I've just taken all of the fruit out just to show you in this video but it looks so good and it's actually quite practical because I can literally see see the fruit on display whereas at the moment our fruit kind of just lives in a bowl on top of the fridge and it just gets forgotten about so anyway bought these they can be used for fruit they can be used for just cloths dish towels random bits and bobs have them on display or not they're brilliant little bags to use and you could probably even have these to take your um, shopping and buy your loose fruits if you're into all that love those and then in the same kind of five we often buy potatoes put them in the cupboard and they end up chitting <laughs> on themselves so i was thinking i could get this bag this is a fruit and veg bag it is made from 100 percent cotton reusable and washable breathable pr produce bags can be used in the refrigerator can't speak in fact let's open it because i actually haven't even been able to open it and see what it actually looks like but i thought it would be super cute to hold potatoes or like carrots or stuff because we do often try to keep them in the fridge but sometimes if the fridge is a little bit overflowing we have to have them out on the worktops or in the cupboards so i thought this would be nice to put them away oh look at that that's so cute fruit and veggies but yeah just a cute little bag re rewashable and stuff that would have been like two pounds or something that was all the, from the range now on to b&m this is the only thing that i bought yeah i didn't really find that much in b&m i feel like i feel like because they have so many amazing storage containers and jars and stuff but i've already got all of that so there was nothing really gripping my attention but i got this little wooden dish soap 
dish, soap dish, for £2.50. This was actually in their bathroom collection, but I'm thinking I might have this next to the sink to house our little hand wash, just to have something to live in so it has a home. Really gorgeous wooden tone and nothing more to say. <laughs> By the way, I saw um, somewhere yesterday that B&M has closed down loads of its stores. Apparently it's not going bankrupt. I don't want to start rumours, but what on earth? A, how is that even possible? Because I feel like we all spend our entire salary in there every single month. And B, that can't happen. Please, can we revive B&M ASAP? Because this is not doing well for my anxiety. Okay, on to a small business. This, um, These are some of the little glass ramekin jars that you get. So you know, like the goo desserts that you can buy. I think Lidl and Aldi, some other brands have their own versions, but these fit them perfectly. Have you ever bought those ramekins and think oh it's such a shame to throw these out but like I can't put anything in them because I can't there's no lid to go with them well one lovely lady who opens the brand Puddin Pot Lid I'm sure that's right I will link them down below she's called Jana she reached out to me the other day and she um said that she'd like to send me some and I was like yeah of course let's try them out I've seen um one of my friends on Instagram use them and they seem really really versatile so now I'm gonna have to go and buy myself a dessert to try these out but i'm looking forward to that because now i've got my shelves on display as well i often have tiny little packets of things that aren't enough to fill a full jar but i don't want to keep them in the packet so keeping those little glass ramekins and using these lids will be perfect and she said they're great for even if you're taking some lunch to work and you just need something because they've got a plastic seal on them they're actually like suctioned in so they can become like watertight and airtight and stuff like that brilliant and they're so affordable i think for two, I think it's like two for a fiver. If you can make use of these, definitely go and support her business. She's a small business. She's really trying hard and she definitely deserves her credits because she's been featured in like magazines and goo, the goo dessert website and everything. She's smashing it. I've got a little one off from Primark that I did buy a little while ago. So you probably will recognize this. I often use it as a vase for tulips and stuff, but I think I'm gonna now use this as one of my utensil pots in the kitchen. When the thought came to me, I was like, oh, that would look amazing. And then I actually have styled it with some of the wooden spoons and forks hanging out the top and it looks gorgeous. Definitely the vibe that I want. It's got this lovely cream on blue tone that I'm into at the minute. Really gorgeous little minimalistic print on it. And I love the shape of it. It's definitely quite a nice, unique shape. This was seven pounds. It was from Primark a little while ago. They probably don't still do it. If they do, you're in luck, but they might do something similar. And then I have shown these in the kitchen design video before, but I just thought I'd throw them in this haul really quickly. These are some egg cups, which are shaped like tiny little terracotta pots, and the spoons are actually tiny little spades. So, so cute. These were 10 pounds for two from my local garden center, but the brand is actually Eddington, so you can probably catch these online, or yeah, they have a website, eddingtons.co.uk, but if you like these, maybe put them into Google and see if you can order them online, because they're so cute. Rob can't wait for me to open this. He's desperate to use these. Ikea, I did a small order. Order. I do want to go into an Ikea next time I'm near one, but we don't have one near us. Imagine we have a whole distribution centre in Peterborough, but no Ikea shop. The whole distribution centre for Ikea is in Peterborough, but no shop. We can't even click and collect. It's a nightmare, but hopefully manifest in one day we'll have one here and that will just make my whole life complete. Um, but yeah, from Ikea I did a small, small haul. We've got some rails, pan rails, pot rails, mug rails. Don't know what you call these, but these are brilliant. I have seen a couple of people use them on Instagram before and I was a little bit put off because they come across quite gold. They are a goldy brass rather than an antique brass but when I tell you they have a gorgeous finish to them and the little the little um the little brackets the design of the brackets just make them they're so so pretty. So I've actually hung one up in the kitchen already underneath the shelves that I made and from there I've got a couple of the hooks hanging. These are the hooks that you can buy. I'm pretty sure these are like five pounds each. You can get some long ones or you can get a pack of four of the shorter one, five of the shorter ones. I've actually gone with these. They're a, they're a decent size. I don't really know why you would need longer ones. Obviously there's a reason or if it's just your preference but I really like the short ones. But yeah, they pair really well together. Love the whole thing. Oh, it's just brought those shelves perfectly together. If I can try and find a hack to make them look a little bit more antique brass, I might do that maybe with like a browning wax or with a bit of rubber buff or something like that. 
but I actually still like them how they are. They are really lovely. And then also from Ikea, but I think I'm gonna return this. I ended up picking up this little um, dish towel. This was before I found the ones from HomeSense. I loved the design of it online. It's got this gorgeous green and cream pr flower print on it, leaf print. But when I got it, it actually feels quite like low quality. I don't feel like it's actually gonna dry anything. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna return this because I think it was like seven pounds or something. But I thought, well, it's a really gorgeous design. I'm willing to pay that for it. But now that I look at the quality, I don't think it's worth it. Also from Tesco, which I just think this is such a steal. This was on sale as well. This was six pounds when I picked it up, but I think it might have been originally like between 10 and 15. I don't know. This is from their Fox and Ivy collection. Love the design on the size. I've actually put this in place on the shelf and I was like, brings everything together the whole vision is coming together it's got these little dots on the inside and then some leaf prints on the outside again blue on white cream love it so much it's just my vibe at the minute oh something that i forgot i picked up from home since i should have shown this in the beginning my bad but i picked up this cute little english tea fine afternoon tea 80 tea bags tin gorgeous green color again i'm just trying to add some elements of color in the kitchen for the longest time i've been a very neutral and black kind of girly and i just want to bring in some color bring in some life like slowly but surely we do have a few muted green elements the sage greens in the kitchen so i thought this was a nice way to add more of a pop of color practical i love a tin for my tea bags i used to have one and it fell on the floor and dented beyond repair which was such a shame but this one's a vibe and it holds 80 tea bags probably more like that's a pretty big canister so so yeah i love this this was 7.99 in the end but you'd actually do get 80 tea bags in which so it's probably about three quid in the end really two more companies to go through and um, i went to what's it called anthropology the other week now and again you might have seen these already but i thought i'd show them and i picked up this new mug oh, i love it so much i kind of wish i picked up two to have two matching ones but it is what it is this is a gorgeous pumpkin style mug gorgeous kind of like burnt orange color with a beautiful imprint of some grasses and blood butterflies and plants it was 14 pounds can't wait to use this in the next couple of months over autumn with my hot chocolates and I'm not really a pumpkin spice girly but something along those vibes <laughs> something that works for me piece de resistance my still my favorite purchase for a long time is this egg tray that I got from anthropology this was 16 pounds it holds 12 little old eggs but once they're all in place you can actually put another six on top because it balances them in place this design love the sagey green color again I'm kind of trying to stick to like a few color, a few colors in my color palette just to not go like crazy because that's a bit out there for me. But yeah, the sage greens, the little pops of the blues and a few of the warmer tones through the woods. And then the final place and somewhere that I was so surprised and I, why don't I shop here more often? If you have not been to a Matalan in a long time, please take yourself there this weekend because their home game, they have kicked it up. I mean, I don't know if it was ever this good. I never really used to shop there, but I'm so impressed. So, Matalan, first thing that I picked up was this cute little tray for a first aid kit. Rob and I are forever like, do you know where the paracetamol is? Do we have any plasters? Because since we moved into this house, like not really anything has a home. We're just kind of like, we were living out of boxes for a long time. Things just got put in random drawers and all of this. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted to, some sort of box to keep all of our medicines in and when i saw this i thought beautiful because i can have this out on display if if it has a somewhere to go and you know does what it says on the tin it was nine pounds beautiful cream color with this black trim and then it actually has a few little sections so it's easy to keep certain med medicines together or like your plasters or your gauzes and stuff and i thought that was a really nice little touch <coughs> might be a nice little addition to the kitchen this bottle cleaner because i'm sick and tired of shoving my hand into a bottle and like getting it stuck it happens far too often this was three pound fifty bottle brush gorgeous wooden handle not much more to be said but again um because it's so pretty i can probably have it out on display and then i picked up some tongs you might have seen these these have been my color palette for the wooden shelves we actually ended up going a little bit darker than this but these have been 
through a journey with me. These were £2.50 and I just love me some tongs. I had some before but they broke at the top. I think I was pressing them up here too much. So I'm going to try to just use them down here so they get the most flex. But yeah, not much more to be said. They're just a practical purchase. I love this so much. This is a little fruit ceramic basket. It's made of, you know, it's like ceramic, clay, whatever. It says fruit on the front, so we know what we're working with. <laughs> it was seven pounds and it's just so cute. I think on a shelf, if I can have some little nectarines or plums or something, oh, gorgeous. I just love that so much. And then kind of matchy matchy vibes. We also picked up this utensils pot. I know I do have the Primark one, but we have got a lot of utensils and it'll, it'll be nice to have like one on a shelf and one on a worktop on one side or whatever. So if I can make use of this, I will. If not, then I will return it. But it was £9 and it's so cute. I think I will be able to make use of it. Gorgeous. And yeah, they're the same sort of tone. I also picked up another draining mat. I love these. Why have these not been in my life longer? I bought one from Ikea a while ago, just like a plain grey one. And we use it nearly every single day because we don't have a dishwasher. Um, so it's really handy when we're washing larger things like pots or extra glasses that just overspill. And instead of putting them directly on the worktop, we can put them on these drying mats and you can throw them in the wash. We put them in the wash probably once a week. Um, yeah, they're brilliant. This was £4.50 and I love the design. I think it will go really nicely. It's got that kind of like greeny tone. It's a little bit more minty than sage, but it's still a nice green tone. Cannot wait to get our dishwasher. Hopefully it will be here in the next couple of weeks. We have managed to find like the door and stuff for it and the side panel. So fingers crossed it's all gonna come together. Hopefully without any issues and dramas. Cannot wait for that day that we have one. Very much a first world problem, but I really do appreciate a dishwasher now. Um, and then the final thing I got was this little whisk, whisk, whisker basket, wicker basket from Matalan. Again, honestly, they were smashing it. This was £12.50, cottage woven tray. And again, to have this on either like display, but for me, actually practically, when I went on a Dunelm trip a few months back, they served our breakfast on these little trays. And I was like, what a vibe, love this. And I actually went into Matalan before I went into Dunelm and I saw this one. On comparison, it's a little bit more rickety. So I don't know if having breakfast on here will be, you know, sustainable. I wouldn't want anything to fall through, but um, something like that, or even in the guest bedroom, when people come to stay, like putting like folded towels in with a little shampoo and body wash bot um, bottle, that sort of vibe. I just want it for like cuteness like that. And that's everything from our kitchen haul, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've missed anything out. If I have, you will see it all styled in the final kitchen makeover and over the next few months whilst I slowly but surely accumulate things for the kitchen that I see over time. I'm not trying to, I know I have bought a lot here. Some of it I actually bought like last year and months ago. Like it's not like I just went out one day and just like bought everything. They're definitely things that I've seen over lots of shopping trips and thought oh that'll be nice that'll be nice and slowly but surely have brought together this collection i'm hoping it will all style nicely in the kitchen i'm so excited to put it all together and yeah i can't wait to show you that video if it's not already out by now so if you're not already subscribed make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it turn on your notification bells and that will give you a little notification when i've uploaded so you can be the first to watch it if you enjoyed it do like and comment i love reading your comments as well i get so much inspiration from you guys over on the comment section i do appreciate your comments a lot but yeah that's it now i'm gonna have to take myself to london for a trip i need to go now my train's in 17 minutes but i need to go anyway on that note i will love you and leave you Bye bye